Hi, I'm Dr Ian Van Lusen from the Department of Mathematics and Statistics at Curtin University. Let's consider the following situation. Two boats leave a port at the same time, deviating away from each other at an angle of 50 degrees. The first boat moves the total distance of 12 km, the other boat moves the total distance of 18 km. What we would like to know is how far those boats are away from each other. Situations such as these can be solved by using the cosine rule. We use the cosine rule when we're given either three sides of a triangle and no angles, or two sides of the triangle and the angle enclosed between the two. So, for a general triangle, ABC, the cosine rules tells us that this side length A squared must equal to side length B squared plus C squared, take away twice their product, multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the two. The cosine rule also tells us that this side length B squared must equal to the sum of a squared, c squared, take away twice their product, multiplied by the cosine of the angle between those two sides. And it also tells us that c squared must equal to a squared plus b squared, subtract away twice their product, multiplied by the cosine of the angle between those two sides. So, cosine rule, side of a triangle squared must equal to the sum of the two other sides of the triangle squared, subtract away twice their product, multiply the cosine of the angle between the two. These three equations will allow us to solve for a triangle if I'm given two sides and an enclosed angle. If I now go ahead and rearrange these equations for cosine of A, cosine of B and cosine of C, I get the following three equations. These three equations here will allow us to determine the angle in a triangle if I'm given all the sides of the triangle and no angles. So now let's go ahead and look at the previous example. So, as we can see in this scenario, I've got a triangle, I've got two side lengths and an angle which is enclosed between the two sides. So therefore I can apply the cosine rule. I'm trying to work out this side length here the distance between the two boats. So, using the cosine rule, the cosine rule tells us that this side squared must equal to the sum of the two other sides squared. Subtract away twice their product, multiplied by the cosine of the angle between those two sides. So, from a calculator, work out the side length d squared. I'm after d, so simply take the square root of this number. Giving us the distance between the two boats of 13.80 kilometres. So here was an example where I had a triangle, I had two side lengths and an enclosed angle. Let's look at one more situation. In this situation, I have the three airports Adelaide, Brisbane and Canberra. I'm given the distance between Adelaide Airport and Brisbane Airport of 1,600 kilometres. The distance between Adelaide Airport and Canberra is 1,000 kilometres. And the distance between Canberra and Brisbane is 900 kilometres. What we'd like to determine is the angle between the two routes from Adelaide Airport. So, in this case, I want the angle between A and B and A and C. Here I have a triangle. I have all sides in the triangle, but I don't have any angles. So once more, I can use the cosine rule. The cosine rule tells us to work out the cosine of the angle at A. That's simply equal to the sum of B squared, C squared, take away A squared, on twice the product of B and C. So once more, substituting the given information,
evaluating this tells me the cosine of the angle at A. Now to evaluate for the angle at A, simply take the cosine inverse of 0 0.8594, giving us a value of 30.75 degrees. So therefore, the angle between the two routes from Adelaide Airport is approximately 31 degrees. So here was an example where it had triangle, three given sides, but no angles. So in summary, you need to use the cosine rule if you're given a triangle with all sides and no angles, or you're given a triangle with two sides and an enclosed angle. Thanks for watching.